Hey guys, and welcome to episode two of Raku and Rakuen. Um, so last episode there was a thief in the middle of the night. Uh, we met Sue, Connie, a lot of people in the hospital. It's a really cool game, and we were learning about the little worlds, but we can come back to that. Um, so yeah, we just got access to the bathroom, so let's go in. Whoa, you've got. It appears there's a tunnel running through here, blocked off. Perhaps you could get through if you had the right tools. Okay, so we're supposed to rest on the right tools. Yes. Looks like there's something shiny floating inside. They get yes. You received Tony's bathroom key. <laughs> Did I fix it? I think I fixed it. What? You fixed the toilet? Thanks, kid. You're welcome. Tony's bathroom key. Oh, I know where that goes. Wait. Yeah, Tony's bathroom key. Okay. Uh, go back to the game. What's that? Okay. Let's go. Hey, grumpy old Tony. Uh, that's not Tony's room. Yep, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. This is Tony's room. Hey. You use key, sweet. Whoa. Um, it's red. Read notice. Do not tamper with this device, okay? I tampered with it. I don't trust this room. Okay, let's turn on. No idea what the passcode is. I'll probably look pretty suspicious just standing here entering random numbers. And the passcode is behind there, so let's go see if I can buy some choo choos. I need money though, so uh. Anyone have any money or coffee? It's good to walk around now and then. Walking is great for your circulation. Good for you. Am I functioning vending machine? Please deposit. How much do I have? Does it say in the items? Uh, journal? Find out who's- oh, that's- okay, so- Got it. So we've gotta find money now. I didn't look in the drawers. I totally forgot about those. Wait. <laughs> Perfect. I forgot to look in the drawers and that's exactly what I needed. And my functional choo-choos. And let's go give it to this lady. <sighs> go give this to this lady. Bugging me, kid. I've got a lot of stuff. What do you want to do? Wait, you're giving this to me? Wow, they, thank you. I haven't eaten anything all day. I guess they won't mind if I go take a short break. <laughs> I certainly won't. Thank you. Hospital attendance forms. Okay. Probably in the bookshelf. Which do you want to search? Lower cabinet. Folders filled with medical forms. A laminated card is clipped to the back of one of the folders. Yes. Oh, found it. 1721. 1721. 
Yes. I've already started to research it on unable to. Okay. The 1721. Oh, let's go get some coffee. Look at Dorna there. Seven, two, one. Oh, Snapple. Someone's withered journal. Look at, yes. We weren't able to keep everyone alive, but we tried our best. Uh oh. Hey, this one doesn't seem as boarded up. It appears that there's a tunnel going through. Oh, okay. Yes, open the cabinet, cabinet, okay. Upper shelf. Pamphlets, newspaper clippings sticking out. Yes. The NSA said the number of people exposed to radiation was expected to rise. Workers in protective clothing scan people arriving at evacuation sentry for radioactive exposure. Which do you... oh no. Yeah. You found a small cabinet key. Okay. I'm gonna follow you. Select exit. One, seven, two, one. <sighs> Wait, did I grab something? Oh yeah, I found it. I found a key. Okay. Hmm. Darn it. Oh, I found a cabinet key. Hey, cabinet key. There's a cabinet key right here. Yes. There's a laminated card at the bottom of the drawer. Read the card. Uh, 2954. That's easy. 2954. Got it. <clears throat> Whoa. A dragon's head? It looks like a dragon's head. A jar with unknown specimen floating inside. That's a dragon's head. A representation from Kyo Construction is coming tomorrow to survey the damage. Please make sure all personal materials are removed before then. Pair of broken beakers. The door is locked. Oh yeah, we might want to turn on the light. There we go. It's not red like the other room. I wonder why the bathroom was red. Medical books. Oh no. Yes. Oh, sweet. That wasn't too hard. Wonder why those things are knocked over. Okay. Let's go through this door. Oh. Medical pamphlets of office supplies. Open the locker? Yes. A coat, a lab coat with a pair of scrubs are hanging inside. It looks like there's something inside the lab coat pocket. Look inside. Yes. You found a key. Metal door. Guys, we are one snoopy head kid. I would probably, when I get to the first door, turn around, but... Use the key. Sweet. Oh. It's red again. Um. I have a key card? You don't, yeah, I don't have a key card. Oh, I have to... Oh man, this is a mess. 
for it to be blocked off, perhaps if we have the right tools. I don't have a key card. Door is locked and knows this post is here. Read it? Yeah. For security purposes, all three supervisor keys must be inserted into in order to open this door. Okay, folder one. Construction contract with rebuilding the third floor, wing 2B, a stack of folders. You received a key card. No one left a note here. Read it? Yeah. Joel, remember to remove the key card when you're done with done this time, okay? We can't just go leaving doors open. I don't want to get in trouble again. A stack of folders. You found 5G. Okay, so we've got one door. Probably gonna be this door over here. Yes. Boom. Bills and tax forms. Open the locker. Yeah. Yeah, another key card. But where's the third key card? I'm honestly somewhat expecting a jump scare. Okay, so I'm out of key cards. Um hmm. Is there something I'm missing? Can I what about this? This? Oh, son of a... The last key card's over here. Yes, insert the key. Okay. Open locker. Yep. Lantern. Yep. Take the key card. Yep. Yeah, I took... Okay. Son of a stupid little... Okay. Well, I'm back. Let's go. Yay! Let's advance to the next area. First, I want the shovel. No? Okay. Whoa. It's my book! My book! Uh, hi there, buddy. It's a little late for visitors, don't you think? Who are you? Oh, I'm no one important. He looks insane. But if you want to call me something, you can call me Uma. Are you the one who's been stealing food from the cafeteria? Did you take our book? <laughs> I guess you're kind of caught. Me red-handed. Why would you steal from a hospital? I'm hungry. Down on my luck. What do you want me to say, kid? Wait... Do you live here? For now? Not much of a home, but it beats sleeping on the streets, huh? Oh... I'm sorry you don't have a real home. Eh? You get used to it after a while. Oh, kid, are you hungry? I've got a bit of fish head left from last week, if you'd like. Oh, um, that's okay. But thank you. Look, kid. I'm really sorry I took your book. Please take it back and forgive me and for my lapse in judgment. It's okay. I do weird things when I'm hungry, too. <laughs> You received Raikuen, and I promise that as soon as I get back on my feet, I'll pay the chief back and all the food I took. I just need some time to figure out, figure things out. I understand. Oh, one more thing. If I tell you a secret about this hospital, will you promise not to tell the staff I'm here? 
Okay, I promise. Well, that's an easy promise. Break me and I'll multiply. Become sharp as attack. But if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. What in the world are you doing in here? I... Um... Well, I don't know how you got in here, but this area is off limits. Anyway, come with me. Your mom is here. Mom! Oh, wait, I want to... There's the food right there. That door is shiny. Mom! Mom! Oh. Okay, that's cute. After you worked so hard to get our book back, I think you deserve a good bedtime story. Will you read me Raccoon to me, Mom? Of course I will. <clears throat> Ooh, magic. Once upon a time, there lived a boy in a faraway land called oh. Morisota's Forest. I don't have to read this. Okay, we're gonna be quiet. Even though he was still quite young, the boy was considered a great warrior by his tribe. One day, the boy returned home from a hunt to find that everyone in his tribe had disappeared. At first, the boy was very afraid, but he soon learned that his tribe had escaped danger by sailing to a world called Rakwa. In order to reach them, the boy decided to seek help from the great guardian of the forest, Morizora. For it has been said that Morizora would grant one wish to anyone who was able to complete his challenges. Thus, the boy set off on a great journey. He fought evil spirits, visited many lands, and befriended even the most severe of creatures. And at long last, Morizora granted the boy his wish a ride on his magical boat. The boy was now able to sail away, finally reuniting with his tribe and all those he loved in the beautiful world of Rockwen. Good night. That was a quick yet very cute story. It's red again. Mom, is that you? That would scare me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's... Hey. Yummy! You came back! <laughs> I told you I would. So, the doctor told me you were wandering around in the back space. That place is like the construction zone right now, man. Seems awfully dangerous to go there just for a book. Not just a book. Been in our family for generations. My grandmother used to read it to my mom when she was a kid. Ah, so you got it back for your ma. Yeah, and me too. Special to both of us. Special to that old homeless guy too. The silver and it probably sells for a lot. He was hungry. He was probably just trying to make you feel sorry for him so you wouldn't tell on him. You should have felt sorry for you. You're the one who, who's, you're the one stuck in the hospital. Could leave any time, but you, you might never get to leave. Whoa. Okay. Oh, it got red. It got even redder. Jeez. Oh, hey, man, I'm sorry for saying that. Okay. That's true. If it makes you feel better, I'm stuck here, too. Might as well be stuck here together. You're right. Thanks, Yami. I want to know what this kid's as. It's, it's yeah. Uh-oh. I think that's night shift nurse. Our man, I should go. Yami? Yeah? I hope you get better. Always weird. 
nighttime friend. Hey, mom's back. Hey, mom. Hey, sweetie. Did you sleep okay? Oh, what's the matter? I wish I could go to Mariz Marizona and ask him to grant me a wish, but I know it's not real. I'm just stuck here forever, aren't I? Now, I wasn't going to tell you this until you were older, but I think you might finally be grown up enough to know the truth about this book. Truth? Do you know why someone tried to steal our book? Because there's silver on it and people can sell silver for money? No, no. That's not why at all. This book is not just an ordinary book. It's a map to Marizona's forest. A blueprint for what we need to do to meet Marizona himself. But... When the thief took our book, he obviously didn't realize that you need something else in order to get there. <laughs> oh, I have a cat that's being loud. <gasps> gasp, gasp. Or explanation point, explanation point, what the heck, bro? This is the Raccoon book key. You needed to open the book, as well as the doors. The doors? My grandmother told me that when you have both the book and the key, secret doors will start appearing around you. Doors that will lead from this world to Marizona's forest. There could be doors in this hospital! I don't know. And we may never know unless we look ourselves. I want you to have this key. Very special and now it belongs to you. There's a letter on the floor. Do you do you see that? There's oh, you need a sil. You receive silver ray can book key. Th thank you, mom. But you must promise me that you'll take good care of it. I promise I'll take such good care of it. Okay then. There's only one thing left to do. Let's go find a door to Marizona's forest. If you want to talk to your mom at any time, press Q. It looks like someone left you a note. Read it? Yeah. Break me, and I'll multiply. Come sharp as a tack. But if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. You figured you might need this in writing. There's something crazy where I live. I hid somewhere to help you get there. Reflect on it for a while, and maybe you can find it. Uma. Oh, hi, Mom. Hello, dear. How are you? When I was a little girl... Okay. When I was a little girl, I used to always dream about finding a special door to Marizona's forest, which means you haven't yet. I wanted to go to journal. Oh, okay, item. Uh, can I... Oh, uh, wait. Yeah. Break me, and I'll multiply. I'll become sharp as a tack. But if you, if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. So, what I'm guessing this is, is treat others the way you want to be treated. For instance, if you break someone, they become stronger. They don't break. Like, um... A baby tree when it's growing up, when the storms are hitting this tree, this tree just gets stronger so that it can survive the storm. But if you take good care of the tree, it will, I mean, obviously the tree will bloom no matter what. I guess if you don't try to chop down the tree, it will be able to give you good fruit. Okay. Are you might want something crazy where I live? Okay, I... No, I'm... Oh, oh okay, yep, yep. Thank you, Uma. Uh, I'm pressing the wrong buttons again. Ooh, mom's following me around the hospital. Hey, is the uh, coffee restocked? Oh, it's... 
wait. It's a new day. It's another day in another world. I thought they would have locked this off after they saw a kid wandering through here. Half fishing in that box filled with bento lunches. Various bottled drinks. The door is locked. And use the key. Also, where does... Oh, wait, what's this? All hospital staff are gentle. Please be in the time. Okay. Oh. Well, guys, it looks like uh, it's the end of this episode. It's been great so far. Um, I'm really liking this story. Right now, we, we've met an old man, a lot of really cool people in the hospital, a little girl with planets, you know, all the, all the, all around. It's super cool. It's really cool. I really like it. But I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, bye.